Hey, Strong Lines, Ian. I wanted to revisit some drop-down box options and combo box options. Um, so let's let's have some fun here. So let's say we, you know what? Let me let me close this and reopen it because I was playing with this earlier. Make sure I knew what, at least had a clue what I was doing. So um, let's say we wanted to add something to this font style. Not that it would actually work, right? But um, just as an example, so it's combo. Remember, this is we got to lose the L. I'll I'll fix this program or adjust it at some point. So here's control and let's add so it's add as the command um the value is going to be let's let's add crazy and the control is going to be this without the l and then um this i added a i'm using the edit replacement so it was what was it um the thing is you have to remember what it is so notepad class there we go so notepad classes in my head um, so now when i save this reload it and run it look now i have a crazy font i think i'm gonna try that sometime um i don't know actually i'm very curious what the font is not available oh interesting i wonder if i was to had added Arial, because Arial i think is a font i don't want to do that twice but I don't see it. Oh, that's a font style. I'm sorry. Anyway, so I can't think of underline, I guess. But anyway, whatever. If it was in fonts, maybe it'd be something different. But you get the idea. You can add to a list. Let's say I wanted to delete it, right? So um, the delete, you change this here to delete. Ah. What control? Why am not updating here? Come on. The value, so now this, I notice here, um, it's the number, right? So if I want to get crazy, that's one, two, three, four, five. That's the fifth item, I believe. Oops. Oh, come on. Five, save, reload. There goes crazy. Um, let's say I want, I didn't want people to be using italic. Um, those crazy italic, like, you gotta see the baby. Anyway, that's a Seinfeld ref reference. Um. So it, you can delete them, right? Um, actually, I'm interesting. Let's see if I can add back italic and if it'll it'll work. That, that, that is interesting. Let me get rid of that. So italic is back, and now I wonder if I can select it. Yeah, apparently so. So it's it's interacting. It'll look at it. Um, if it's a valid thing, it'll use it. So I think that's pretty cool. The other one I wanted to demonstrate was that... Um, there Someone are, the front door. yeah, I know, thanks, um, that we can um, show and hide these drop-down boxes. So I'm going to drag this to here. That's combo box five. And let's say, so again, start with control. Show drop. down i was thought it would have assisted me there i hope i didn't show that it looks right um the value i think you leave blank the control that's combo box five and um notepad per, it takes you a while of course to remember your hot strings right so let me reload this bam and there it's visible um i'm gonna duplicate this and say hide drop down um i'm gonna save this reload it run it just so it disappears now it did both of those so fast you can see it and i'm gonna add a sleep in between here so sleep of 2000 now i'm gonna run it it's gonna open it for two seconds and close it so that's how you can interact with those drop downs just um different things you can do um i hope that's helpful i think it's pretty cool that you can you know tweak things the way you want them cheers